Hello. It's uh, well, 10 p.m. perhaps, something like that. And uh, just got home. And uh, it's been uh, quite a bit of rain in the last week and quite a bit more beaver activity in the uh, recent weeks, which means rising waters, which often means rising anxieties and rising workloads. So my little reminder just came up to do a meditation. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'm sitting here on the cellar floor, which is uh, dry. And perhaps in no small part to the project I've been working on for the last uh, two years, which is just about done, which includes a uh, hole in the floor to pump out water. It's largely working. It's actually plumbed to the point where I can get water out of it. Um, but I'm sitting on a cellar floor. Now I'm laying on it, which is not uh, six inches deep in water. In the last few years, I've spent a lot of time putting just about everything in the cellar on wheels. Just about everything down here on wheels or on metal uh, or perhaps plastic or both. So everything is raised up and on wheels or uh, won't particularly mind the water. And uh, actually bouncing the phone on one of the wheels. And so I'm laying on the dry floor after a long day. Which means I just got home under this really heavy cast iron sink that we moved. Uh, I just got home after a long day. Cold, tired. Found out recently I have to get up very early, teach, and drive. And I got home and the cellar is dry. So I didn't have to get home and spend three hours down here. Uh, I still have to go spend time. I'm doing some of the beaver projects, so the water drains. But I'm on a dry floor. And I can see that the water is about seven inches. Uh, is that right? Yeah. yeah, that's about right. So it's about seven inches below the floor. Before this hole I put in the floor, I would not have known, but you may very well have looked at the floor and then applied anxiety and fear to the idea that the water will be here any minute and then things will get damaged and there's a lot of work to do and I hope it doesn't. But now I can actually see the water table. Um, it gives me a really interesting sensation because I'm laying down on a cold cement floor which is dry and it feels you know I know it's the foundation of the home and I know that it's cement and I know it's solid it's one of the more solid things I experience in my everyday life and yet I also know that seven inches below me is the level of the water which is in fact rising but not worryingly not at a worrying rate. It's an interesting experience to know that the water is below me, but I'm not on a boat with the water below me, so there's no physical sensation of the water. There's just an intellectual understanding that the water is at this level, seven inches below. And should it rise, the pump just here you know, by my left ear will kick on and through this project start to arrest that rise. So I'm sitting here, laying here, thinking about water, but feeling solidity, thinking about flow, but feeling the unmoving. 
thinking about the changeable and feeling the unchanged. Thinking about the wet, feeling the dry. So I'm going to see if I can't just come to terms, I guess, to, to uh, reconcile those two sensations. One's an intellectual, mental sensation, one's a physical. They're both true. The water is there, and this is solid. So the meditation uh, that I'm going to do is one for the kidneys. So I'm just adjusting this because I'm looking right at a light on the ceiling. You don't need to see me see if you can see. So the meditation is Inhale through the nose and visualize an inky, very dark, very dark blue color. Uh, in the lower trunk, if you're able to, specifically the kidneys. And if you're able to, specifically do the kidneys, then you want to inhale and fill them from the bottom up. I'm gesturing, but I'm guessing you can't see my gesture, but fill the kidneys from the bottom up with a dark blue, an inky, nearly black color. And so I'll do this on successive inhalations. So, for example, if this is the kidney level and the inhalation gets from the bottom of the kidney to here, then I'll exhale and then I'll inhale and keep filling. And th in that case, it was two inhalations, but maybe it's six for you, or it's one, or one, two and a half, whatever it is. So on successive inhalations, we'll reach the kidney filling. If you reach the kidney filling before I do, or it doesn't have to be the kidney filling, it can just be the lower trunk, generally, visualizing that color there. Uh, maybe you can do that, but can't quite do the kidneys. You might do the lower trunk and then the back, as opposed to the front of the lower trunk, the back of the lower trunk. So when lying down, the half of your trunk that's closest to the floor. And if you fill before I do, then after filling, the following exhalation empties. The entirety of that color. One it, exhalation, all the color leaves. On some number of inhalations, the color fills. The area, the more local area, the organ, or perhaps the organ, filling in the proper way from the bottom up. We'll do that a few times. Slow, easy, gentle, in through the nose. feel my heat leaving my body. Kind of rushing. 
crashing towards the stone floor, the concrete floor. So this is the kidney, this is the water element, this is me tuning into what's below me. And then exhale, letting that color exit with the breath. Now there's still the effect of the color within you, but you're not filled with that color. By the way, I'm in the cellar, so there's different sort of machines doing their constant hum and buzz. And it's possible that on the recording those come across quite heightened for which I now apologize. But I don't know if they're doing that or not. Maybe. Okay. So, same kind of exercise now for the spleen. Just uh, just with your left hand uh, on the left side of your navel and below the ribs kind of the left side of your belly and, uh, so my, I say left side meaning my left hand of course you can't see this but my left hand touching the side of my belly that's the same as my left hand Sometimes that confuses people because I'm not showing you. It's, is it the left when you're looking at yourself or not? But my left hand hasn't crossed my body over to my other side. It's on its own side and it's touching that side of the belly. So, this is lying down this late at night. It can be tough, especially as the body gets cold, at least for me. So, same idea, inhaling slowly, gently, easily through the nose. We're going to be visualizing a different color. Of course, this is for the spleen, which is anal analogous to the earth, which is analogous to the uh, stone or cement floor, the solidness, which is all in contrast to the kidneys, which are below us, like the water, which is below the floor. So my body has the kidneys and then the spleen, you know, uh, and that's up, and that's my back when I'm laying down. Uh, so the kidneys and the spleen, the spleen's on one side, and the kidneys are on both, but still one above the other. And uh, there's also the water table, and then the solid surface I'm on. So my body feels like this analog for what I'm tuning into between the solid floor and the The level of water. So the same idea, inhaling through the nose, gently, slowly, easily. Visualizing a different color, which I'll get to in a moment. And just try and get into the zone of the lower uh, body. So just trying to get into the zone of the lower body. That might appear to be my right hand to you, the way there's videos, but anyway, I've described it enough, it's my left. Uh, and so, we're in that zone of just the lower body, and if you're able to, we'll do the top side of that lower body, as opposed to the lower side we did earlier. And if I am able, I'd like to get a little bit more localized to just this quadrant, or the spleen itself. And if I can't fill the spleen itself, the spleen doesn't have to be filled from the bottom the way we did the kidney. It can just slowly become the color. And the color... Oh, that's kind of awesome. It's 
ridiculously awesome. <laughs> I don't know how this color will look on the camera, I guess. But the color, this probably looks a little too lime. A little bit green. But the color is like summer grass, summer hay, like a field of light yellow. Not quite straw, not quite tan, but yellow. And this is analogous to the earth in the spleen. And the spleen will just slowly be pervaded with that color rather than the filling up of the kidney idea of an inky blue. This will just be a slowly becoming the entirety yellow as we inhale again on successive inhales. So we might feel just a little hint of the yellow and then the yellow sort of uh, deepens, I guess, a more fully expressed yellow on subsequent inhalations. Richer, more uh, saturated. And then on one of the following exhalations, with the breath, the color leaves the body, though not the effects of the color. So once again, I'll cover my eyes. Then exhaling. Give you a little look into the. I don't have any idea if you can see the water. There's another plumbing here. And super custom fixtures that were installed. There's our water floor, kidney spleen, exercise. So, thank you for joining me for this meditation. Oh, I'll get you a little bit of Krista Witten's artwork too. super meditative journey so thanks for joining me